There are two primary uses for the semicolon in the English language. The first is to separate two closely related independent clauses within a sentence. If you use a semicolon, there is no need to include a coordinating conjunction, such as AND. The second use for a semicolon is to separate items in a list when the items are long and complicated or contain internal punctuation, such as a comma. Ordinarily, you would use a comma to separate items in a list, but if the items contain commas within them, it may be confusing to separate the items with a comma. So that's where the semicolon comes in. Here we have one example sentence for each usage. Um, in this first one, we have two independent clauses separated by a semicolon. Um, so each of, these, each of these clauses could stand on its own as a sentence, but we've chosen to combine them into a single sentence, and we do so with a semicolon. Um, it's proper to use a semicolon in this sentence because the two phrases, I went to the doctor and he told me I had the flu, are very closely related to one another. Hearing that you have the flu is a direct result of going to the doctor. You would not, for instance, be able to use a semicolon in a situation where your two clauses were, I went to the doctor, I scored a 99 on my exam, because they're not related in the same way that these are. So in order to use a semicolon to separate two independent clauses, the two clauses must be very closely related to one another. The second example was items in a list. So as you can see here, we've got three items, and they are city-state combinations. So you'll recall the proper way to list out cities and states is city, comma, state. So each item has an internal comma. So it could be confusing to try to separate them with commas. So the proper usage in this instance is to use a semicolon to separate each of them. So. These are the two primary uses for semicolons in English. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.